Hi, my name is Michael Wells, a biochemistry major at Cal Poly class of 2018. And today, we'll be talking about how to properly use a micropipette. Let's get started. First, we will start by explaining the parts of the instrument. This is the control button used for drying up and ejecting the liquid. The volume adjustment allows you to specify how much liquid you want to draw up. The ejector is used to remove the tip when you are finished. We will demonstrate this later in the video. There are many different sizes of micropipettes, but today we will be discussing three of them. The 2 to 20 microliter pipette, indicated by the P20, the 2 to 200 microliter pipette, indicated by the P200, and the 200 to 1000 microliter pipette, indicated by the P1000. This is the volume display and indicates how much fluid will be drawn up. For the P20, the red number indicates a decimal point, so this number reads 2.0. As you can see, turning the volume adjustment changes the reading on the volume display. The P200 is very easy and reads simply as is. For the P1000, the red number actually indicates the thousands place, so this number reads 200. As you turn the adjustment knob, the volume display increases by tens. This is a micropipette tip box. It contains several tips. Depending on the size of the micropipette you are using, the size of the tips you will need will vary. To attach the tip to the micropipette, simply open the box, stick the micropipette into one of the tips, and apply some pressure. Tap the micropipette against the box a few times to ensure that the tip is securely attached. In this next section, we will learn how to calibrate a micropipette. We will need a beaker with deionized water, an empty beaker, an analytical balance, and of course, your micropipette. For this next part, you will need the following conversion. Set your micropipette to the highest volume and calculate the expected weight of water for that volume. Your actual weight will need to be within 5% of this number. To calibrate your micropipette, draw up some of the deionized water and add it to the empty beaker on the analytical balance. For our calibration, we set the micropipette to 1000 microliters. You will need to repeat this step three times and make sure to zero the balance in between each time. If your micropipette is consistently more than 5% different than the expected weight of the water, ask your teacher for help adjusting your micropipette. In this last section, we will discuss how to properly draw up and dispel liquids using your micropipette. It is very important that you keep the micropipette vertical anytime there is fluid in it. This will prevent contamination and damage to the micropipette. To draw up a liquid, push the control button until you feel resistance. Put the tip into the desired liquid and release. To dispel the liquid, push the control button to the second level of resistance to ensure all the fluid is released. Then be sure to dispose of your tip in a used pipette jar or garbage can using the tip ejector. Thank you for watching this video on how to properly use a micropipette, a production of Chem 466.